Ah, riding courts. Most of us think we need to completely master music theory. Now, don't worry, you don't need to be Mozart. However, if you don't know music theory, you will need these tricks to write killer chords in FL Studio. Now, first, what are chords? A chord exists out of three or more notes being played at the same time. This is called a triad chord. It contains a root, third, and fifth interval, together forming a basic chord. If you're new to making music, this might sound overwhelming, which is why the next trick will help you out. In the piano roll, you can use scale helpers to build chords. First you gotta choose a scale to work in. To do that, right click the music note on top and choose a scale, for example D minor. Now in the piano roll, all the notes in the D minor scale are highlighted. You can still add notes that are not within the scale, but to prevent that from happening, you can left click the note icon on top and this will enable snap to scale. Now to build a chord, we're gonna start with the root note. This is the first note in the chord. Then to add a second one, we're gonna skip one highlighted note and click on the third one. This is why it's called the third. Then we're gonna add the fifth by skipping the fourth again and drawing one on the fifth. There you go, now we have a chord. This technique works on any highlighted note, for example this one. Now this note is the root note. Skip one, add a third note, skip another one and add a fifth note. There you go, now we're gonna build a chord progression. Now, a chord progression is when multiple chords are being played in a specific order. But how do you know which chords to pick? Let me show you. First, you gotta know which chords you can use. To do that, start with the root note of the scale we chose earlier, which is the D note. Then we're gonna build a stair by adding every note of that scale next to each other. Now, all you need to do is build chords from all of these notes just like you've learned before. Skip one highlighted note and add the third one. Then skip another one again and add a fifth. Now, if you do that for all of the root notes, you have a little shard of all the available chords in the D minor scale. Now it's time to pick our favorites and put them in the correct order. But first, let's talk about Roman numerals. All of these chords have a number. This is quite easy. They're just called 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now that you understand this, you need to know that these chords are not all the same. Some of them are major, others are minor. A major chord usually sounds happy and a minor chord sounds sad. In minor scales like this one, the second chord is actually a diminished chord. But we'll get into chord types in another video. Let's start building the chord progression. So now we're gonna rearrange the chords to a combination you like. For example, one, six, seven, five. Then simply remove all the chords you don't need and place them into the right position. If you can't find a chord progression, you can just copy mine or you can download this free sheet sheet. This is an infograph that contains years of music experience on one page. Powerful chord progressions, amazing scales and a frequency sheet sheet that will help you create amazing music. So click the link down below to download yours now. Okay, now that we have a beautiful chord progression, we're gonna make it sound more alive. We want the chords to play like they belong together and as you can see, the top three chords kinda stick out from the first one. To bring them closer together, simply select them and hit Ctrl plus arrow down on your keyboard. Alright, that's awesome, but now to finish off the chords, we're gonna give it some power. To do that, hold down Ctrl and Shift and then select the root notes of every chord. Then only hold Shift and duplicate the root notes to one octave lower. This will add more bass and strength to your chord progression. Alright, but now it's time to become an insanely skilled beatmaker by learning the 10 tricks in the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay creative.